This video is sponsored by Cassidy Barcodes. Three Minute Max Self Timed Edition. On your mark, get set, go. All right, I have this document, and right now it's an interactive PDF. I also want to have a print PDF version of this, and it needs to look a little differently. For instance, I have here, I have a, um, a hyperlink, and of course it looks like a hyperlink, and in my print version, I don't want it to look like one, even if I do end up using it. So this is a great time to use alternate layouts. So I'm going to go to this layout in the pages panel and choose create alternate layout, and I'm going to call it print, and I'll call it V because I'm still going to do a vertical layout. So nothing else is really going to change with it, but I do want to make sure that I copy the text styles to a new style group because what that does when it creates this whole second layout, which looks exactly the same, I can come over here to my paragraph and my character panels and they've put them in different folders, which means I can define each one differently. So with the character style of hyperlink, like this over here, I want to actually assign that so that it isn't blue and it isn't underlined. So I'm going to come down to this, my hyperlinks, I'm going to uh, click on that and edit that. And I'm going to go ahead and change the character formatting so it's not underlined and that the text is in black. So now those are those two layouts are essentially the same, except that the hyperlink doesn't look like a hyperlink in the second layout, which is my print layout. So now when I go to export, I can do an export and I'm going to choose export. Let's do an interactive PDF. And I'm going to choose a page range and I'm going to tell it to print out just that first, that letter V. If I want to do the print one, I would export to a print PDF and choose the print V layout instead. Now, the great thing is if I want to make a change, I go back to this first layout. If I decide I want some text to change, let's call this volcanoes. Spell that right? I think so. I can come over here to the second layout and I can see that there is a link that needs to be updated. I can just double click on that and the text changes to volcanoes. So now I have two different layouts. Again, I would export after this. And now I want to do a reflow, reflowable EPUB. I can create a new layout if I'd like. I would probably start with the interactive one and, and create it off of there. Um, that way I can define styles differently. But you can't choose which layout you want to go to an EPUB. It wants to take everything unless you use the articles panel. So in the articles panel, I'm going to pick and choose which articles go in there. So this is an article here that goes in. Let's call it article one. Sure. I'm going to throw this picture in here and I'm going to make sure it's in the article. And then I'm going to jump down to another article that I have later on here right here, and we'll export that article, call it article two, throw in what pictures we need, throw in anything else we want, put it in the right order. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit export, and I'm going to choose a reflowable EPUB. And I want to make sure that it says order is based on the articles panel. And I want to rasterize that first page, which is my cover. And I'll say okay to that. It's going to make a reflowable EPUB. There's my EPUB. And um, I can go ahead and obviously need to work the articles panel, get it in the right order, make sure everything looks good. But I've got three layouts from the same exact document and with two seconds to spare. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. For thousands more InDesign tutorials and articles, be sure to visit InDesignSecrets.com. While you're there, sign up for our free InDesign Tip of the Week. Thanks for learning with us.